everybody. Welcome back at Studio One. This is a song that I produced for a Nashville group called Steel Ivory. And today we're going to take a look at the guitars. So let's go ahead and get right in here and have a listen. Um, I've got the guitars broken down in two different parts. The parts that I actually produced or played. Um, and then the parts that Chris Condon recorded here in Nashville. Um, we'll just start going through them here real quick. And this, these are just the parts, just so that you can see, you know, how uh, we kind of put the song together and what parts were played. Um, I'm not going to go in depth on mixing because there wasn't a whole lot of EQing that I did on these parts. These parts were recorded really well as they were tracked. So I, minimal EQ was needed. So let's take a listen to... Here we got mutes in the verse. So that's a part that I did, just a simple mute. Uh, and then we have chorus guitar, and I'll show you how I did that. Let's listen to it. Now this, this guitar was actually from the demo. I used a contact uh, virtual instrument called Electric Vintage. It's from the Session Guitar um, package, and it's great. This was the Scottish Rock preset, and this thing just sounds great. Um, it sat in the track really nicely, and I was actually going to recut this part, but the artists like it so much, they just said, no, leave it. We want it on the record. So that's the part. And I did EQ that quite a bit, and you can hear the difference here. So there's an example of the EQ difference. You can hear how much raspier and high end that is. And then the part that actually ended up on the record, much smoother. A lot of the high end was, was removed from that. Uh, and then we have a reverse guitar part for the transition uh, from the verse to the chorus. Let's take a listen to that. Okay, so, and if you're a Studio One user, uh, new people, um, you can just reverse a track or a file that you have in your session by hitting Command and R and see how this, this was now reversed. Let me show you. Okay, if I undo that, you can hear the, how the part was. If I hit Command R, it is, um, it is now going to be reversed. So reversing a clip in Studio One couldn't be easier. Um, and then the diamonds right here in the chorus. This, just a very simple part. Okay, so those are the main parts uh, that I did and, and how I did it. And then we have all the parts that Chris Condon played. And uh, let's just start with the diamonds. And right away, you can hear the tone and EQ quality of the tracks that he gave me. Again, I didn't have to do hardly anything to this stuff. When we add, actually, when we open up console, you can just see that I used a high pass filter, rolled off just a little bit. And that's basically what I do. Uh, if the tracks sound fantastic that they give me, I will go in and, and just get rid of any of the frequencies down here that I don't want. And then uh, that cleans up the tracks for me. So that's great. Uh, we have some... He did like a little ethereal sounding pad thing here. That's really cool. And then we have uh, the Siglick. So this is the main signature lick. And I believe he gave it to me like three times. Which was great because um, that way I could pan them out, you know, in the stereo field the way that I wanted to. So that's how that was done. Listen to just the first one. This one's right up the middle. This is a double. But this one's pan left. And then there's one more, and this one's panned right. 
that. So that's that's how we did that. Uh, the swell. You're gonna take a listen to that. This at the very beginning. And then he did another one, which was bassier. Okay, we'll put them together. So if you listen to the track, if you go to Spotify and, and check it out, you'll hear. Then there's a lo-fi part that he did, which is really cool. So he did lo-fi guitar through, throughout the whole tune. And this is one spot where I did a little bit more EQ. I used a high pass to get rid of all the, the low end stuff that I didn't want to hear. And I used a bass, a low pass to get rid of just a little bit of the high end. Here we can hear the chorus part that he did. Here it is in the mix. Solo. It looks like there was a resonant frequency in there that um, that I did want to get rid of. Um, and so you can see it. You can see it right here. And it's at uh, about 462 hertz. See what happens when I take it out. There. You can hear the difference. Let's listen with the EQ in. And I used a dynamic EQ. Let's listen without. You can really hear that mid-rangey thing ringing there, that, and that's what I took out. And... Um, Again, I, I use this Neutron EQ, um, which is really great. It's got fantastic dynamic EQ. So you can just get rid of the amount that you want without it being, you know, overly aggressive. You can see it bouncing up and down here. If we take it out of dynamic mode, that would just pull it all the way down the entire time. But this way, it just gives me what I need. And I can set the threshold on that. So it doesn't destroy the sound. You still get uh, you still get a good sound out of it, but you remove that resonant frequency that you don't want to hear. Uh, here's some fills. Um, these are verse fills, and he used uh, a clean sound on these. I've got that pan left, and I used the um, Echo Boy. I just love the Echo Boy on guitars. That is my uh, delay of choice four guitars. It's made by Sound Toys. Check it out. Um, and then we've got uh, some fills on the chorus, which are distorted. And again, I went back to the Echo Boy for the delay. Let's check it out again. There, you can really hear that delay in the mix. They just hang on after the riff to make it, you know, to fill it up and to make it just kind of bounce along in that track after the riff has been played, uh, which works really nicely. So there's a solo here. And again, I've got the Echo Boy on the solo. You can hear the, the delay on that, which is really nice. So that's about it on the guitars for Thank God for That by Steel Ivory out of Nashville, Tennessee. If you have questions or comments, leave them below. Please subscribe to the channel. And we'll be coming back to you with the next version of this. Whoa.